I'm Philip Cullen. I'm a sociologist, a professor in the sociology department, and I'm also a demographer. To put together all the information for this textbook for your course, I consulted and analyzed a lot of data, not just reports and books by other scholars, but the detailed numerical data put out by government agencies and other researchers. For example, to tell you there are 136 million married people in the United States, I run a computer program that reads three and a half million rows of data from the US Census Bureau and produces that number, which is a statistical estimate. To make a book full of this kind of information in a way that is as interesting and useful as possible, that helps tell the story of family life in our society, I put a lot of this data into the form of graphs. Data graphs are useful for a few reasons. For one thing, visual information can be easier to remember, so it's a learning aid. But second, data graphs also offer a lot more information than you can put into a few sentences of text. And they show relationships between facts and trends that are hard to convey in just a few words. One line rising, another falling, the point where they intersect or change direction, and so on. The challenge for many students, then, is how to use and interpret all these graphs. Reading graphs is a different kind of reading, and a skill I hope will serve you well in the future. So in this exercise, I give some tips that I think are helpful.